Hey everybody, it's me again, Allison Anson, Perfectly Posh Pink Consultant. I am doing a video on face masks, obviously. <laughs> Here is our detox mask. It's our charcoal mask called Cackle Spackle. And you can see I've used this frequently. Um, I keep telling my sisters and my nieces that those black charcoal masks that they see on uh, YouTube and Facebook where they peel them off. I say, no, don't do that. Because, yeah, they're they're peeling off so much skin that they feel like, you know, that's very, very soft when they're done. And it's smooth and moisturizing kind of skin underneath it. But they don't understand the damage they're doing. They're pulling off, they're making some micro um, tears in their underlying skin that they might not notice when they're super young, like in their 20s and in their teens. But boy, by golly, when they get in there, I'm 52, when they get in their 50s, they're going to start noticing. They're going to start noticing all those little fine um, lines that they have cracked and torn their skin terribly. And they're not going to be able to repair some of that. And so they need to be very, very careful. So I... I know a lot of you want to do detox. Oh God, that looks awful. <laughs> a lot of you want to do detox masks, and I, I'm not. I'm one of them too. I like to do the exfoliating and get off the crud of the week that's built, building up from wearing makeup or whatever you put on your face and your skin, and you just want to get it all out of your pores and stuff like that, and clog them, and see what's underneath all that. So the Cackle Spackle is our charcoal mask from Perfectly Posh and it detox. You leave it on. It's got a great smell. Eucalyptus and um, spearmint oils. You can smell it great. And you wash it all with just water and a washcloth. And so you're not tearing anything on your skin. And you can tell right away, right away when you take it off that a lot of your pores, if you've got big pores like a lot of my friends do, my sisters do, um, they'll see right away a lot of the impurities will poke right through their mask. They hate it when I say that. <laughs> but um, they can tell right away that they're getting rid of all those toxins that are inside their skin. And they come right out and just wash right off of their skin. And so I'll probably, I first off cleaned my skin. I used to best face forever exfoliating daily wash and then I'm gonna moisturize with our 911 I do like moisturizing after I use one of these heavy detoxing masks we do have moisturizing masks this isn't one of them I have I do a lot of masks I do like to detox probably once a week a lot of people like to detox if they're younger than me they'll want to detox like two or three times a week probably no more than three I wouldn't suggest you doing now this one I have used to the point where you couldn't get any more out of this. And what I did was, what I want you to do, before you throw it away, see this is all closed like this, and I took a pair of scissors and I cut off the end. Whoops, let me show it to you. I cut off the top part and I squeezed that whole mask out of there. There's still probably some more in there that I might put in a little container and maybe get another mass treatment out of this. So don't just throw these away because you can't get anything out of the bottom. And even when you pull this off, sometimes you'll notice if you cut off the bottom, you can get some more out of there. Just a little hint, by the way. So check me out on Pampering Lady A. See you soon.